This poor baby, what she's been through. Oh, kills me. So much to endure. So much. Thank God she's in our hands with us. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. It's Amy, Shelly, and we just picked up Wendy. She's back here with us. Shelly hand fed her and she got her to eat a piece of cheese. She's been through so much, guys. So much. I was just talking to Shelly about it, you know, just to think of everything she's endured. If she was left in that shelter, she would be dead right now. And I don't know how many rescues would put into her what we have. I'm going to go inside here so you can get a better look. Sorry, honey. No, you stay here. On, uh, two cushy beds. Hold on, guys. I'm just going to sit myself down on the floor. Oh. Hey, mommy. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, baby. Shelly's here. She's right here, Mama. See? Hi, there she is. Hi, Mama. We're both here with you. Which day? Which clothes? She's yeah, drugged. Fine. You can see her eyes are heavy. She was crying a little bit. <clears throat> she was whimpering. Um, she got an injection for pain. And uh, we can give her another gabapentin at about midnight, 11, 12 o'clock. Wendy went through some major heavy-duty surgery today. Um, she's all wrapped up. Uh, she had her... FHO surgery on her back right leg. She had a um, spay to remove a mass. Uh, there was some fluid in it. They sent it out to pathology. Um, and also there was a mass on her side that we thought was a fatty tumor, but it uh, was hard. So they had to um, remove that. So she has an incision on her side. So basically she has three incisions. She was cut in three different places. Uh, she's resting comfortably on two very cushy beds wrapped in blankets and she has to wear the cone um, for 10 days. Just so happy to have her back here with us right now. It's raining, it's thundering outside, it's miserable outside. It just, I can't help but thinking about all the dogs that are out there right now that are abandoned on the streets and Makes me sick. Yes, Sarah, um, Shelly and Keith have decided to um, extend their stay and stay throughout the weekend uh, so that she will be with somebody around the clock. <clears throat> she will not be alone for a second. We've been here together all day. Um, I got here this morning and we've been here all day. Shelly's laying across the floor on the baby pads. <laughs> That's what you do when you love hard. And you give your whole heart and soul to these babies. Because they don't have anything else but us. I will, Tiffany. Tiffany said, sweet baby, give her a kiss for me. We really do appreciate all of your prayers. Um, we appreciate all of you that have donated to allow us to cover most um, we're still a ways away we have approximately I think 12 to 1300 dollars that we need to cover for her surgery so we're just great very grateful um, that we were able to cover a portion of her surgery and we're just so grateful that she's here with us safe in our arms 
I'm just going to let her rest. We have the most amazing team, Michelle. I don't think there's any better in my eyes, to be quite honest with you. Hey, mother. We love you, baby girl. Everybody loves you, Wendy. Everybody's praying for you that you're going to be good as new. Just pray that all the pathology comes back negative. Um, we're just going to, you know, let her rest. You can see they shaved a good portion. That's her head. Um, they shaved all the way from her neck down. And I'm not going to mess with her, but okay. it's just she's wrapped up pretty good. Okay. So we're going to keep her wrapped, and then we will make an appointment for <clears throat> next week to have her rechecked by the doctor. Um, we're going to start moving her around immediately. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't want her cage rest. They don't want, they want her to be moving. So in a little bit here, um, Shelly did give her a piece of cheese. She ate that. Um, she'll get another pain pill around midnight. Um, we'll take her out before then and just kind of carry her pending how she lets, how she feels. We want her to be comfortable. She's surrounded by nothing but stuffy toys and blankies and cushy beds and, and just love. And Keith is watching from driving. Is he? Oh, good. <laughs> He's checking on Miss Wendy. We're so glad she came back. Thank you, everybody, for your love and your prayers. Yes, they do a pathology mm -hmm. exam. Uh, they send it out so we can get the... Uh, results um, on the masses that were removed from her. Exactly, Mary. Mary Ann. Um, she says, I remember her barking at you to take her from the kill shelter. I remember it like it was literally two seconds ago. I remember her little eyes, her big eyes, her soulful eyes and her ears. Um, and I just remember her cry. And I zoomed in and I begged all of you to donate to allow us to save her. And here she is. It was meant to be. It was just meant to be. God places us exactly where we're supposed to be. I don't believe in any weird coincidences in life. And I do believe God gives us what we can handle. So with that being said, uh, apparently he feels that we can handle a lot more than maybe some days we think we can handle. Um, but he always shows us the way. And at times when we feel defeated, I look up and I just say, you know what, just please give me the strength that I can get through whatever you have sent my way. And it always, it always works out. So we're going to let her rest. And we're going to pray for her. And for any of you that can find it in your hearts to donate to help us recover from her entire surgery. That would be so appreciated. The PayPal link is above on this video. And also, uh, the hospital is closed, I believe, for the evening, but you can call directly to the hospital and pay down her vet bill, which is at VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital. And the phone number is above as well. So everybody remember to be kind to one another. Um, enjoy every moment because Right now, all we have is the here and the now. We're not promised anything else in, in this journey called life. So we will update you more later. Um, we're just going to go spend some time with Wendy, take care of her and the other babies. And again, we thank you so, so very much um, for your love, your prayers, and for your support to allow us to continue to do what we do best, and that is to save these beautiful helpless little souls that need us so desperately. This is Amy and Shelley with our Wendy update, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.